hi guys so today we're going to be talking about how well do you know your machine your sewing machine how well do you know it so the sewing machine i'm using is a butterfly jh8190x and i'm sure most of you know this machine i'm sure most of you know this machine so um i've been using this machine for quite some time now for quite some years and um over the years i've struggled with my needle Sometimes I have a loose thread. Sometimes I have a tight thread. Sometimes I even try to change the. I try to change this, and you know, to make the stitch more tighter. But at the end of the day, I end up getting the same result. So today, um, like other days, I don't know why I decided to treat this today, but let me just go ahead with it. So I was actually sewing, and my needle got broken. Almost, it almost entered my eyes actually. But well, thank God for that. So I was actually sewing, and my needle god book now this needle i'm making use of this needle is um hope you can see it is an organ needle um this um organ uh jeez i'm not sure you can see it properly but it's uh it's an organ needle god i just hope you can see it okay so if you can see it clearly it's an organ needle it's a needle that is used for um um a stretching material but i don't actually use it for stretching material i use it for all my material so and it sews well so um over the years i've tried using this one this is the one i try using you can see it comes in this but anytime i use it it does not actually sew my clothes instead it gives me a very loose stitch and i get frustrated over and over and over again so over the years i got to understand that this kind of needle does not really work for this machine I don't know what works for you. This kind of needle does not really work for it. But the needle that I have here is not an organ needle. This is not actually an organ needle. But the good thing about the needle is that this is the needle I'm using. I'm sure you, most of you know it. It's not an organ needle. I don't really know the name of this needle. But all I can say about it is that, you know, um, a manual butterfly machine, a manual butterfly machine, um, the needle that it use, this is actually the needle. It's a very, 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 very old needle. So this is the needle, the manual butterfly machine, the one that has a pedal that you use your leg to match. This is the mesh. This is the needle it use, and it works for my machine so perfectly. So whenever I go get this one, you can see that I see even have a full pack because it actually does not work for my own machine. So the good thing about this, what I try to realize about this butterfly machine is that if there are two different let me try it too. So, look at it here. You can see it's a size 14. If you can look at it very So, I'm, I, I'm not really sure you can see it. But this is a size 14 needle. It is a size 14 needle. This is a size 14 needle. It does not actually work for my machine. Do you know the reason why? I tend to realize that any needle that has a round surface. Look at it. It's round. All true, right? A round surface does not work for my machine for this butterfly machine if it has a round surface it doesn't work let me change it time for you, for you guys to see so this is it just to be sure it has a round surface you can see i have my needle fixed so let me try sewing it for you guys to see so i've successfully fixed the thread so i'm going to sew now for you to just get a glimpse of what i'm trying to say so this is the So now look at the trick here. So I'm sewing this, right? And after sewing, I get to realize that. Okay. After sewing, you can see my stitch, right? It's okay. My stitch is okay. Normal as usual, right? But when I make it with another, when I sew this with another. Tr uh, see, I'm still having the same results okay so now let me find another fabric to use so then i decide to make use of this fabric you know to test wonders then can you see oh so so i decide to make use of this fabric to test wonders just trying to see it's not even sewing <laughs> so, let me do it again 
So after fixing the thread for the third time, because it, keep, it keeps cutting over and over again. So I'm going to just try to make this go on slowly. So you can see the way the thread is jumping, right? Can you see how loose the thread is? You can see the way the thread is loose. Even from the fabric, you can see. Right? Are you seeing it? Now, let me try. See? See the way the loose... See, the, see how the, um, loose the thread is? You can see how loose the thread is. It's even jumping. See? It's literally not sewing anything. It is not sewing anything at all. Look at... See how loose the thread is. Now, what am I trying to say in essence is that you need to know what works for your machine. Now, this thread, this so, um, needle works nice on a thick fabric. It works nice on a thick fabric. But if you're using it to sew sequins, um, stretchy fabric, or even um, some um, maybe a car fabric, some car fabric, sometimes it does not really work because I've actually used it. Sometimes it does not really work. And not only this mesh, not only the sewing um, needle, but also some other needle, it does not actually work. But if you look for this type of needle, now this needle, I can't really see. Oh, look at it. You can see this is even a size 16. A size 16. Now this needle is that old needle. Now a manual machine, you know, most of you that use the manual machine, the one that ped, that you pedal with your leg, you will know this needle. So this is the needle it uses and I thank God I have it in my possession and I saw that it works better for me. So what I tend to understand in this um, sewing machine is that any needle that has a flat surface like this, you can see this one has a flat surface. Any needle that has a flat surface, not a weaving needle, a sewing needle that has a flat surface like this, regardless of the size, this is size 16. But well, my machine makes use of size 14. This, most of you that use this machine, this butterfly machine, you will know that this machine makes use of a size 14 needle. A size 14 needle. If you get, if you bought the sewing machine new, you realize that the um, needle, the extra needle that comes with it, you will know, realize that it's a size 14 needle. But this needle is a size 16 and it works so perfectly on it. It works so perfectly. Why this one is a size, look at this one is, the world's a size 16 there, but it's a size 14. It's a size 14. I don't know if you can see it properly. Yeah, okay. You can see it, right? The world's a size 16 there. It's a size 16 on the body. DP size. Okay. So, okay. It's a size 14. I've just seen it. This is also, this is a size 14 needle. But it does not work on sequence. It does not work on other uh, material. But this one... Or an organ needle. The organ needle, the one I use in sewing um, stretchy fabric. This one. This is an organ needle. I don't know if you can see it. Okay. Okay. Look at it. So this is an organ needle. It's a size 14. But it has a flat surface. It's broken. This is broken. But it has a flat surface. And it works perfectly on all fabric. A stretchy, sequence, or thicker fabric or anyone. Same as this. This is not an organ needle actually. But this one so now i've actually changed the machine needle i've removed this one and i ended up putting this my manual sewing machine needle this is what i used so then i'm going to try to sew it on that same sequence so that you guys should see okay so i've fixed the needle and this is the sequence too guys are you seeing the difference are you seeing that it's not jumping? Even look at the thread. Look at the thread. Are you seeing the way the thread is moving? It's not even jumping at all. It's just moving so straight. I'm trying to make a long stitch so that you guys should see what I'm saying. Look at it properly. Are you guys seeing this? Are you seeing the magic? Oh my God. Okay. Now look at the back of the thread. Can you see? Can you see how tight the stitch is? Look at how tight the stitch is. Just look at it. You see, it works so nice. Now, this is the trick. Look at it. See the stitch. Let me take it closer. Look at the stitch. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, see. So just look at the stitch. See how tight the stitch is. No loose stitch. No loose stitch at all. So, this is the trick. This is what I'm trying to make you understand. You need to know the needle that works so perfectly well for your sewing machine now let me try it another fabric so that you can also see okay so i'm also trying it on this same fabric the same needle 
I'm trying it the same on the same fab on another fabric. Sorry. Can you see? It's not jumping too. I'm trying to make a long stitch. It's not jumping. Can you see the stitch? This one is even more tighter compared to the other one. I don't need to look at it. This is even more tighter compared to the other one that I made previously from the other from the DB needle. Look at it. So this is what I'm just trying to make you understand. You need to know what's what what works for your sewing machine better. Which one works for your sewing machine? Which of this needle? Is it the deep um the organ needle? This is the organ needle. This is organ needle size six um size 14. Or this DB needle, which is size 14, or this normal manual butterfly sewing machine needle, which is size 16. So this is a size 16. Now, if you get a size 14, size 14 also works better. Also works better. But size 16 also works. Now, let me even shock you. There is a needle that I made use of um, recently. I don't really, I don't really know the name of the needle. I've forgotten. Uh, it also is um, a butterfly manual sewing machine needle too. And it's a size 18. And it works for this butterfly, this machine. And I was like, oh my God. Are you for real? So... I've got to understand what needle works for which because sometimes when I go to um so um an sewing machine accessory shop and I try to get a needle every time I ask for an organ needle I want to buy an organ needle I want to buy an organ needle nobody has it and it's really really frustrating because what I'm what I'm actually trying to say is that if sometimes when you get to a sewing machine accessory shop and you ask for a particular needle they reach sometimes they don't have it and it gets so frustrating because and you're wondering how do i make this dress how do i make this dress if i don't get the sewing machine if i don't get this needle if i don't get this needle. so what i'm trying to say now is that you can actually get another needle that also works for your machine not only that particular needle you can also get another needle that works better for your machine so you need to try choices you need to try your options you need to weigh your options try this try this and try that and know what works for you you know what section of needle what kind of needle works for you so that when you go to a particular shop and you want to get a needle and they don't have it you can also you can have an option to choose from and you can also ask for another needle so anytime i ask for an organ needle they don't really have it the all they give me is um um i've forgotten the name of this this um needle that comes in a green mint green um mint green um what are they calling mint green nylon um paper mint green paper that is the one they actually sell and I've actually used that one too and it also works for my machine. But not sometimes not all shop has that. So most shop has this one. They give me this one all the time. They give me this one all the time and I don't really like it. So I hope this uh, lesson, I hope you understand it and I hope it's very helpful for you. Please share your comments, share your um, story in the comment section and let me know what you feel. Thank you. I remain stitches by Antonia. Do have a nice day. Love you.